Boom! What's going on guys? My name's Zach and welcome to this fitting video where we're going to be fitting up a Tengu with hams and giving it massive resists and disgustingly high DPS and it's going to be based around shooting Garistas rats. So we're going for kinetic thermal damage and resistances and we're going to try and make it OP as fuck because that's what I think it actually turned out as and it's absolutely awesome ship. The, the Hamgu is beast. Um, yeah, so in a couple of seconds we'll, we'll go through the fitting and then as always on the end of these videos I'll put the actual Hamgu balls deep into a haven and we'll see how it gets on. And there she is guys, absolutely beast looking Tengu. The ham launchers look really nice on the wings there and it's always nice to have a ship that you, you like to look at. It looks cool from the top as well in the fitting window. So a couple of things just before we we'll go over the fit, I'll just show you what implants I've got in. I've got the CA1s and 2s, they're just like no brainer, everyone should use them because they're absolutely crazy. Really good for adding CPU and power grid but you, if you take them out you can, obviously the power grid's not an issue at the minute but the CPU is so you can just meta some of these mods which I'll go through with you in a minute. And the, Im the main two implants I've got in is the heavy assault. Uh, damage bonus which is 5% for the the snapshot AM705 there and the rapid launch RL TAC 1005 that's for rate of fire bonus 5% as well but obviously you can use the the three percents as well uh, even worth it on this because of the amount of DPS we're going to be pushing out which is a lot and subsystems well I think we'll do the subsystems first so like I say, I built this ship just to shoot Garistas, so there's not going to be any crazy funky subsystems on. It's all going to be pretty cheap. Um, so the first one was the electronics, and that's a dissolution sequencer. Obviously, the Garistas rats will jam you, so having a high sensor strength is really good. And that subsystem gives you a 15% bonus to your sensor strength per level. And also your target range per level, but that's not really an issue because... Obviously we're using hams in there, pretty close range. So my sensor strength with that on and maxed up is 39.20, which is pretty cool. Never get jammed. Or I've never been jammed yet, I should say, but I'm sure I will eventually. And for the defensive, we've got 10% bonus to shield booster effectiveness. Now I'm only using the medium shield booster, but I'll get to that in a minute. So obviously that helps that booster out quite a lot. And... Uh, augmented capacitor reservoir for the engineering. I think this was mainly picked because of the the cup really wasn't an issue because of the, sh the medium shield booster but I think it was just because of the low slot mod and the, the hard point for the launcher to get that, uh, that six launcher on there so that was the reasoning behind that. Obviously accelerated ejection bay for the offensive and that gives 5% bonus to kinetic missile damage which obviously we're going to be shooting kinetic because Garistas are weak against that damage. Also 7.5 bonus to heavy assault, heavy missile and rapid light missile launcher rate of fire so obviously that's kicking up the DPS on the hams there. And we've got 10% bonus to heavy missile and heavy assault missile velocity which gives a decent range for the hams. I mean it's sitting at 34k now which is quite quite good but that's including the rigs as well which I'll go over in a sec and obviously you don't need MWD when you're just running sites down here so 10% bonus to afterburner speed per level and it goes 615.9 all in so that's that's well enough I mean you, you don't need obviously because we're going to be pretty close range we're just going to be balls deep opening like at zero on the sites or the, or the belts or whatever we're going to be doing so we don't need MWD but that's pretty cool and obviously it keeps uh, the cap stable a little bit, it helps on the cap. So that's the rigs and yeah so they're pretty cheap. Um, low slots we've got all BCUs, just T2 ones, obviously if you want to you can go pimp and that would probably push the DPS above a thousand. I mean yeah, a thousand DPS on a ham tango, it's pretty crazy. And cap recharger 2 in the mid, a target painter, I did think that was quite useful just because it was a spare mid. It was either a web or a target painter and I thought well, web's not really needed really. You, you can you can pretty much blap frigates and stuff even if they're going pretty quick with the hams. And uh, obviously Garista, so it's thermic and kinetic. 
resistances and with them on we've got 91 and 87 so that's really really high and that's what we need to tank against the Gristas um, and one thing about the Tengu why I chose it instead of like using the Mac this time round for the, the null sec stuff was the Tengu's got a natural resistance against thermal and kinetic so that gives it a real boost when you're just like using the T2 mods but I think on TQ I actually use a, a Pythia kinetic and that pushes that over 90 but really not needed guys really not needed um, 10mm after burner just a bog standard one and the medium shield booster now I with the resist being so high, I didn't see the point of actually putting a large one on there because it would have the fitting would have been a bit more tight, the cap would have been a bit more tight, so it's the medium shield booster sort of like completed the fit to the way I wanted to use it actually in null, so I was trying to keep it like cap stable so I can run like literally everything all the time and um never be in fear of running out of cap really, even though it does run out in like ten minutes or something, but that's well long enough to do sites and stuff in this and we've got six hams and the t2s in using scourge rage now most people don't use tech 2 ammo but it's really really cheap it's like for 20,000 units of this tech 2 ammo it was only two mil so why not use it over the t1s you get a little bit extra dps and stuff so it's pretty cool and the dps with the obviously i'm using the implants is 978.7 dps out of hams that's that's pretty good especially with a tank this big and like the sig radius is really small so it's perfect for like dodging like like mitigating dps incoming to you so it's pretty good i mean the target range is 117 which is really not needed the the hams go for 34 kilometers with these rigs i've got in which is really far enough i mean the havens and sanctums and stuff you, you can always be burning towards the rats and that so there's never been a time I've been out of range to shoot anything, so the hams are definitely the way forward over the, the heavy missiles. Um, speaking of rigs as well, we've got a cap control T2, a hydraulic bear thruster T1, and a hydraulic bear thruster T2. Oh, we could fit the T2 just because, and it gives you that little bit extra range. Like 34k all ends, really good for hams, I think. Especially when you can like be after burning around, so you can you can get in a range dead easy, like I say. And the cap runs out in 10 minutes, which, like I said, is well enough. But that's taking into account that the target painter is always going to be on. And if you if you actually use a meta target painter, like the the phased weapon array one, it's actually cap stable. So I would probably looking at it swap that out actually. And then you know you're going to be 100% safe all the time. Doesn't matter if you go on AFK or, or anything. It, like literally I've been sat still in havens and sanctums with this and um, it's just tanked like a fucking boss there's like nothing can break it, it doesn't go down past like 90% shields most of the time which is really cool so all in all it's really cheap and absolutely great for what it does obviously I'm max skilled for hams and stuff but you'd still at least get 700 dps I would think with um, the plus 3 implants I might, I might be wrong but it's still just like an amazing ship and like I say for the price it's really cool. So leave your comments if you've got any thoughts on it down in the comments section. That, that stupid Google Plus thing that's going on at the minute. But um, I'll probably dump this into a haven or a sanctum after this just to show you, you how it's going to go about it. Like I did with the Kronos video I'll uh, put some tunes. Whoa that's me phone. Sorry guys. So I'll dump it into a Haven Hour Sanctum now and uh, put some tunes on and let you enjoy the pwnage. Oh sorry, one last thing, the missile rate of fire is 1.6 seconds guys as well, so it does eat ammo, like 1.6 seconds with hams, it's, that's just metal. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, leave some comments or some suggestions how I could make it better maybe, or a little bit cheaper, but I don't think it'll actually go a little bit cheaper. It's, I think it's quite perfect the way it is. So that's it, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. So you paid the fatal price. I remember all those times of love and pain. To those memories suffice. I want to ask you time and time again. I'm looking for my friend. I 